When I was a kid, Beethoven's Second was one of my favorite movies. I watched that VHS hundreds of times. Well, the other day I was at a yard sale and I came across this game for five bucks. Beethoven, the ultimate canine caper for the Super Nintendo. Now, I didn't know about this game when I was a kid and I recently just found out it existed. So is it good? I don't know. Let's play it and find out. Why is the name completely different on the game than it is on the cartridge? On the cartridge, it's called Beethoven the Ultimate Cannon Caper, but on the screen, it says Beethoven Second. I guess they just couldn't make up their minds what to call it, so they named it both. In the game, you're Beethoven looking for his puppies who are missing. In your way are multiple enemies, such as skateboarding blue-haired kids, little demon-possessed poodles, dog catchers, and the Tasmanian devil. No wait, that's, that's a cat. The controls are absolutely terrible. You walk like you're walking in mud. When you jump, it's like you're moving 100 miles an hour. And when you stop, you slide like you're on ice. Your main attack is barking, and if you bark long enough, your enemies will explode. Also, I think everyone in this game has the mental capacity of a goldfish. When you bark, they're scared stiff, but a second later, they forget they were scared and go back to attacking. There is a second attack. If you go near the sprinkler, you'll get wet, as shown by the water droplet on the screen. You can then shake, and it kills everyone on screen. How does water kill these people? Don't they sweat? Don't they take showers? One rainy day would wipe out this whole suburb's entire population. There are only four worlds in this game. Suburbia, the park, the kennel, and the wilderness. Each world has two parts, scene one and scene two. You'll find the puppy at the end of scene one. And scene two is pretty much the same as the first, but you have to carry the puppy through it. The problem is that you gotta keep putting the puppy down so you can bark, but you gotta keep picking him back up again because you can't get past the obstacles. So you're constantly picking him up and putting him back down and picking him up and putting him back down again. So when you finally get to the end of scene two, you give the puppy to Missy, its mom, who's just sitting there. Why is she just sitting there watching me carry the puppy by myself? The stage isn't that long. She can obviously see me coming. Couldn't she at least meet me halfway? No, she just sits there the whole time. She just sits there. What a bitch. And by the way, I wasn't cussing right now. In the dictionary, the term bitch described a female dog. So I was just using the term to describe that she is in fact a female dog. And also, she's just a horrible person. And seriously, what's with the music when you find the puppy? That is not the music you hear for a celebration. It sounds like something bad happened or I did something wrong. Isn't he happy he found the puppy? Doesn't he want the puppies back? Maybe Beethoven's the reason the puppies are missing. Beethoven, did you take the puppies and scatter them all over town again? I just can't stand all their barking all the time. They're constantly whining and barking. I can't take it. I don't care. Now go get them back. And I'm going to stay here and watch you to make sure you get every single one back. You'll find these power-ups along the way. The bone restores one health. The chicken leg restores full health. And the steak gives you an extra life. Now these items do come in handy because everything kills you. Everything kills you. What happened there? I didn't even touch anything. I just died from jumping. And also... What is with this trigger happy dog catcher? He's not even aiming at me. He's just shooting in my general direction. I wonder how many people are accidentally shot by him. In the second world, instead of the fences, you've got these grills that have these flames that shoot up every once in a while. If you use the water from the dripping water fountains, you can put the fire out to get over them safely. But you have to go back to the water fountain every time you put a fire out. So. It's just easier to jump over them. 
Some of the enemies in this level are different. Instead of poodles and tornado cats, you got birds and squirrels. And these birds are horrible. They're so hard to kill because they move around all the time. They're a real pain in the ass. No, literally. Literally a pain in the ass. And unfortunately, you still have the apples. I hate the apples. Half the time, you can't even see them. And when you try to dodge them, you'll get killed by something else. This puppy doesn't have to watch out for apples. He just walks on like nothing matters. You know how embarrassing it would be to watch your son walk in front of you, but you have to walk slowly so you don't get your head bashed in by a Granny Smith? Go on ahead, son. Daddy has to slow down so he doesn't have fruit fall in his head and kill him. And these trees are so annoying. They block your view. You have such a hard time seeing enemies and apples because the trees are in the way. Now, I know what they were trying to do. They're trying to make a kind of a 3D atmosphere, which is kind of cool. But, I mean, look at that. The trees take up most of the screen. World 3 takes place in a kennel, but it looks more like a warehouse or a factory or something. I mean, what kind of kennel has conveyor belts and moving platforms? The only enemies in this level, besides the slippery controls, are the dog catcher and this Rottweiler. <laughs> Look at this dog. He's all tough until you bark at him and then he turns into this little wimp. He is kind of cute though. Look at that face. In this level, you have to be careful because there are platforms that fall right up from under you. You have to time your jump perfectly because if you jump too early, you won't make the jump and if you jump too late, you're gonna go down with it. Wait, what was that sound? Wow, you can actually hear Beethoven barking as he falls. Don't worry kids, that's just Beethoven screaming as he falls to his death. The fourth and final level takes place in the wilderness. Again, the enemies are basically the same as other levels. You got a hunter instead of the dog catcher, bald eagles and bats instead of the birds, and a mountain lion instead of the rottweiler. When you finally deliver the puppy to its mother, that's it. The game's over. You get this hooray message and a picture that looks like it was drawn by a four-year-old in Microsoft Paint. And that's the game. It wasn't too bad. I enjoyed playing it. But unfortunately, the short amount of gameplay combined with the horrible, horrible controls kept it from being a really great game. And that's, that's too bad.